everybody Anne here, just sitting here on my porch, having my coffee with all of you in my jammies. I hope you guys in your jammies too. Uh, most of you are probably at work, but anyway, today I want to talk about my ant situation. I have taken another step and I want to show you what the results are. And I also have to get into those garden beds and trim back some of those sproutlings. It's going to be hard for me because I feel like I'm getting rid of some of my green babies, but you know, I don't want to keep pulling, you know, separating roots and everything because the plants that I'm leaving behind, I'm afraid I'm damaging. So, um, what else am I going to do? Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Look at this. I took this photo by accident when I was just fiddling around doing stuff and I was going to get rid of it, but you know what? This is a great shot of Betty. Just look at her, just watching Mama do her thing, protecting the home front. I love seeing her just sit there calmly and just kind of like looking at me. She's such a great dog. Speaking of Betty, she's got herself wrapped around something and she can't move. You know what? Her lead is probably caught on something like a stick. What's the matter, girlfriend? Why can't you go any further? What's the problem here? Yep, <laughs> her lead is caught on a stick. Okay, so she can't pull her lead off of this stick, but here, look at this. See that? Look at that, that hook is bent. It is stuck in the tree and it is totally bent around and that's a pretty big hook. Well, what happened yesterday is one of the neighborhood dogs came over onto my property, as they often do, while Betty was out. And, of course, Betty went crazy. She pulled her lead all the way over this way, and she ended up over in that yard. And her lead came completely off, so she got loose. Uh, the, she didn't get the dog. The dog ran away. Um, but, yeah, so I've had to kind of modify her lead a little bit. Oh, and we're going to talk about this ant situation later. But, yeah, so um, I took the, the high part down. I have adjusted the length. I've made several knots, and I, I bolted it together as well so that she couldn't pull it, um, pull it apart. So the only part that's going to fail now is going to be where the two leads are connected or where it's connected actually to the dog. So I have made it so that she's got plenty of room to run around this way, but she can't get up and mess with these flowers anymore. She can't pull her lead through the flowers. She can't like whip around and get her lead underneath the solar panels because this is going to be a solar panel area and she won't be able to get the chickens. It stops just short of the chickens. Now about this ant situation. I had sprinkled a bunch of this, um, oh, it's a, it's a ant killer made from diatomaceous earth and I'll show you the bottle that I used. And I did this a couple days ago. So let's see here if it did anything. I came out and checked yesterday and there were still a ton of ants. Yeah, see look. Look at all those ants. It did nothing. I'm not seeing any dead ants anywhere. They're still crawling all over the place. So, yep, they're still there. And I also went, and don't worry, this stuff is non-toxic to dogs. So um, I didn't have any problems with sprinkling it out here. Betty stays away from this anyhow. I also sprinkled some over this new fledgling mound and as you can see they built right over the top of it so it's it's done absolutely nothing yep see look at there's a little ant trail going all the way over here all the way over there I also put some in various spaces like around here and they just started building right over the top of it again this is the kind that I used a very awesome subscriber sent it to me and I was really hoping it would work. It's supposed to work against all kinds of little creepy crawlies. And um, I just sprinkled it everywhere and it didn't work at all. So what I'm going to try next, also sent to me by a wonderful subscriber, is this. Pure diatomaceous earth. This is also non-toxic for dogs. 100% pure food grade. 
I'm only going to put it in one spot because I don't want to waste this stuff. There's a lot of other good stuff you can do with this that will work. So I'm going to put it on that big ant pile over there that I just poked at. And, well, we'll just see if it works. If it doesn't, I've got another solution. I'm just going to grab some out of this bag. I've got it in a little thingy. And I'm just going to sprinkle it literally all over, all over the ants. Some of them are already coming to try and get me. And we're just going to see if this works. Please let this work. I think that's enough. I mean, if it's going to work, that should be enough. So, all right. Well, we're going to wait a couple more days and see what happens. And if this is still a thriving colony, well, then I have to move to another step. Okay, what I have to do next, I'm not going to enjoy, but I have to do it for the greater good. I am going to thin the cucumbers. All right, beautiful cucumbers. Now, I'm not going to just pull them, because <clears throat> what I'm concerned about is that the it may disrupt the root system of the cucumbers that I'm going to leave. So I'm going to pick the ones that I don't want and just cut them, cut them down. Cut them down all the way to the soil. And these are all going the compost heap. Alright. I'm keeping the ones with the most secondary leaves and with the thickest stems. I think I'm going to leave two in each spot. So, there's that. Oh gosh, these all look so healthy. Oh, I feel so bad. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. But uh, you got to do it. <clears throat> okay. Let's see here. These all look pretty good, but I still got to choose the ones I, I'm not going to keep. All right. Let's see. Let's take... Let's take this one. Oh. There's another one trying to come up. I'm going to nip that in the bud. Keep that. Okay, I'm going to come around the other way. These all look pretty good. Take this one. This just gets harder and harder. I'm sorry, guys. But we gotta do it. That's getting there. Hard to choose. <sighs> this doesn't feel good.
And as with anything, there is the circle of life. They're not dying. They're just going to take another form. Man, that compost heap needs to be watered, doesn't it? Lastly, I wanted to talk to you about my wood burning stove. This is pretty much how I want it to look when I bring it inside. It looks like this guy has added some extra pipe there and he's got a little fitting up at the top. And I'm thinking that the extra pipe that he's added is a double walled sort of a pipe and you can see that little collar up there and I've got to get an elbow thingy too. I imagine that it's going to be double walled though, whatever goes through the wall. And then this is what it looks like on the outside. I don't really like that cap. I know that there are specific caps you can put on the tops of these, but I will be hiring a professional to do this. That's one thing that I have made the decision to do is hire a professional. And I also like how he has put a little piece of like a support thing that secures it to the roof. So I'm definitely going to have to get one of those too. Yeah, looks pretty good. Look at this, a torrential downpour. You know, a few months ago I would have complained about this, but not today. I needed the rain. So you know what? I got my boots on. I've got my umbrella. I'm going to go check the rain barrel. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's been raining for like 20 minutes. I've got to change these over. Oh, oh my goodness. Whew. That was hard. All right. I'm underneath the tarp. So much rain. It is just exploding everywhere. I don't even have that barrel set up exactly right, but that's all right. Um, let's get out of here. Woo. Look at it. Oh my god, is it already full? No, it couldn't be already full. Alright, I'm not going to stand out here like a fool in the rain. I'm going to go inside and change my clothes because I'm soaked. Check it out, you guys. It took me five minutes to change those buckets over and this one is already full. And it's already full. Oh my gosh, I need a bigger collection thingy. Ha <laughs> ha! I know you can hardly see me and I'm soaking wet, but seriously, this has been awesome. Anyhow, that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.